is Canada, for God's sake. The violence continues. We, we've got a right to protest in this country, but not a right to break the law. In Toronto, a Jewish protester was stabbed in the face by a pro-Hamas thug. Three arrests, I think, may even be four, have now been made. In Calgary, a group of Jewish and non-Jewish people supporting Israel, they've been assaulted. Amongst them, Shane Hamilton and Jeff Willerton, who join us now from Calgary and Edmonton. Uh, let's begin with you, Jeff. Um, you went to this protest. If, not that this should really matter, but I, I don't think you're Jewish, are you? I am not. I'm, I'm just a Christian supporter of the nation of Israel. Right. Okay. So you, you went along to uh, peacefully show your support for Israel. What happened? Correct. Uh, a friend and I were holding a flag, holding the Israeli flag, entering into uh, um, um, respectful debate with those who wanted to engage us. Uh, when a guy came along, stole the flag, stomped on it, stole the flag out of our hand, stomped on it. I tried to get the flag, flag back, and he responded by uh, sucker punching me in the side of the head. Okay, let's, let, let me stop you there, because we've got a clip. It doesn't show everything that went on, but let's see the yeah. clip of what happened to Jeff, please. I said tensions in Calgary, I've got to say, no, uh, criminal behaviour in Calgary. I don't care how passionate people are about a subject. You were assaulted, you, you were physically attacked. Has anyone been arrested yet? Uh, no, no. The police were very clear that no charges would be laid. Did the police try to protect you in any way? Uh, they weren't there to do so. They had been told two days ahead of time that both groups would be there uh, and warned that they should be there. Uh, for some reason, they chose not to be. We are here to say no to the killing and the constant abuse of Palestinians, and we demand, we demand justice for ourselves, for our future, for our kids. Palestinian supporters in Chicago gathered this afternoon to demand an end to the Israeli airstrikes and ground war in Gaza. They say Israel is indiscriminately killing Palestinians, but Israel's deputy consul to the Midwest says they are defending their citizens against Hamas attacks. They're launching uh, rockets on our civilians and uh, we try to prevent uh, this uh, defensive military operation as we can. He says Hamas often puts the Palestinian people in harm's way. <laughs>
Gaza militants maintained their incessant rocket fire on Israel on Sunday morning, as code red sirens blared in cities and towns from Netiv to Herzliya. Iron Dome intercepted two rockets fired on Beersheba, while three rockets aimed at the city fell in open areas. Starting from 9 a.m., air raid sirens wailed in Ashkelon and the Hawk Ashkelon Regional Council. In the same hour, code red sirens were also heard in the Sharon area, including Rayanana, Ramat HaSharon, Hod HaSharon, Rishkin, and other areas. At least a portion of the salva was intercepted, and fragments fell in North Tel Aviv, including near the university. For the second time in less than a week, rockets have been found in a school in Gaza, operated by the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, the body said. Today, in the course of the regular inspection of its premises, UNRWA discovered rockets hidden in a vacant school in the Gaza Strip, the organization said in a statement issued Tuesday. UNRWA, the UN agency charged with overseeing humanitarian efforts in Gaza, said it immediately informed the relevant parties and is pursuing all possible measures for the removal of the objects in order to preserve the safety and security of the school.
במהלך התנועה, שמאל, פתוח, ויש קדימה.